Hello, and this is James Sorge here with 30X, and now we're going into part 3. Remember, this is post recording, so certainly some things here. Playing to the right. Now, on the last one, we found some levels, and unfortunately, from one of the things that we found out that level 6 was level 8, and also, we can't get to level 5, level 7 from the first place because we don't have whistles, so... General next place we're gonna go, it looks like it's gonna be level 8 of the first quest. We'll see if something's there. First of all, we're heading to fill a life we don't want to go in with. Fill a life, that's obviously a really, really bad idea. <laughs> Until we knock the rock dead, dead. Move up. Fairy. Move over. Freeze. Tech tight. Move on. On down. On right. The mob one going right, going down. Burn the bush and go down. And doesn't this look familiar? And you can see a whole bunch of colored bats and keys here. Kill the keys, kill the keys. And there's a key. Now we're gonna go right. Got the salvo. There is a little something about this room that keeps me suspicious considering everything. Push the block over the block, there's the stairs. And what do we find? The red ring. Interesting. That's certainly a surprise. Also means the enemy difficulty is probably going to go up. It's gonna go left. And there's the locked door, go up. Trouble there. And there's the Cleox. Warhead. You might remember this sequence actually, ironically, minus the item thing. This was in level 4 of Game Quest. Particular opening. So, I'll explain that later. But yes, I do reuse things. This is one of the references. And whoa, is robes. Where's robes? Likewise, you know, that type of stuff. Typical of level 6 of the first quest. Typical of level 6 of the first quest. You might remember this. Go in, get the key. And we got Vyres and like likes and Wallmasters. Grab the compass. And move out. Kill the Wizard. The Wizard up here with Keith. Kill them. Ow. And we're gonna move up. And Paul's voice. We got arrows now. Dead. Dead. One hit. Dead. Goodbye. Got two of them. Got two more of them. Oh, 
close the block and go left. This is too simple, isn't it? Now, just so you know, this is the map of this is the first is level one from the first quest. The idea of this was, uh, I guess, the idea of that message is if you miss the red ring, you might want to look twice. It is there. You can see he has here. This is one of the various jokes made on level 1 from the first place. Granted, with 20 times more top of enemies, but you get the drift. So right there, you just want to that. And they're just flying around, there's one that stops, goodbye. Bye. You'll know, you know, there are very other famous level 1 jokes, including level 4 of Game Quest, where I take it, and also in Zelda NES Remastered, where basically there was a ruined version of level 1, and it turned out that was only the beginning of the level, and you could see it's roughly level 1 fine. Salvos. Salvos dead. Dead. Move up, moving up in the world. Here's a few wizards from Place of the Glorious, as you would probably expect. Level probably being set for the Pulse Flesh and pretty true to its hollow root. That's the key. Go left. And there's the wizard robes and traps. You might remember this room. Goodbye. Dead. Art man. No chances there. And goodbye. Push the block. Or we get the whistle. You might have an idea of what the boss or possibly more of this could be in this level. Here are the traps. Going down. dead. Now there are some blue Gorias here. I think it might be a boomerang room. We'll see. We kind of got all the boomerangs, so what's gonna happen? And you're dead. And just some fairies. That's all. And... Mr. Level 5, got clock, save the enemies, pushing the block, see if there's anything weird in here, and the door, and we get a hatcher and a dig dodger to open to close out the level, so we go here and the hatcher, which was obviously telltale for what we're getting here. Heart container. And there's the Triforce, and down goes level 5. Okay, now we're going on to level 6. And we're gonna go left. Actually, we're going up. Go 
go up. Doctor Rocks. Grumble, grumble! Yeet out! Goodbye. Do you get a life or money? Goodbye, Moblin. Ooh, Google Man will start off. Aquamantis, a Chizongo, and a Manhandler. Let's take out the one now before it gets going. Four to five. Timing a little different than most of the Zelda classes. You can't be aware of that. More Wizard. Bye. We're headed to Riyadh with some bubbles. There's lots and lots of Riyadh. All your Gleogs are belong to us. Goodbye, right, there's a map. And you can see the bolo type, there's the staircase. And there's the red candle. Always a help. Up. 
And we have Dreads and Dark Knight, kind of big colors here, rushing with a lot of enemies. There have Art Man. Still the Wizard, dead. God clock, goodbye. Destroyed. Push the block there. And, there. and we get a key. Kinda like a bolo here. Oh, 
Okay, if we can die on the door. There's the clock. Got clock again, except for this type of room. Again, push the block over the block and the staircase. And a whole bunch of blue dark nuts. Could be a help if you don't have any light, but now the music in this, if you can hear it, is from the Mortal Kombat movie, and that's something ironic about it later. Have a heart, man. Have another heart, man. There we go, going up. I bet you do like to have more bombs. Yes, I would. And this is the room that was in level 9 in New Quest, and Catcher, and a whole bunch of Lamolas. Triforce, and we're heading towards level 7. Hobbling. Probably should kill that, but we do it anyway. Going north. Boy, this is really expensive. Pick up some more meat with me. In the shop. And we'll blow the whistle. Going to level one's entrance. Maybe we can end up level six. We don't want to go there yet. Going up. And we're coming to one of our favorite areas, Spectacle Rock. Kill the Lionel, leave him one enemy. Bombs out. Bombs away! And now we're coming down. A whole bunch of blue dark nuts. Bomb and go down the cave, which you can't do in the new versions. And there's the key. Oh 
Okay, going down. Red Rizzo, Red Texite. Still some sin and Walmart has his symmetry will probably play a role in there, we'll see. Whole bunch of Delongos, more than bombs, so bomb and stop again. Trying to get an opening. It's reverse solo. It's reverse from level 6. Now you can see why the Mortal Kombat is doing this play here. Supposedly the inverse. Wizrobs. The blue dark nuts. Into the set. Goodbye, goodbye. Push the blocks. See if anything's there. Push the blocks. Blocks. Yeah, there is something. And we get the magic book. And go down. Blue is robes and red tech time. Come into another X room with the same enemies. Thank you for the fairy. And blow a hole. And for 
sticky tea dance. Go right. Oh yeah, blue dark knots. Kill them, dead. Dead. Thank you for the fairy. That really helped. Another room. The Mongos. Better know how to bomb and stop so you can get out of here. Goodbye. Don't need the bombs. We're gonna move on. Ah, red bubbles. You might remember this room from level six of the first one. Ah, red bubble. Oh. Goodbye. Darkness in the same room. Max number. Goodbye. Down. Thank you for the fairy. There is a. There is the compass. There's the mirror shield, unfortunately it doesn't work yet, but it's still the early beta of the original plan. <laughs> and walk through the red bubble after being invincible, and we have Yeah, red and blue dark nuts just like red and blue wizard up just like level nine in the first class. Dead, dead. Goodbye. We'll be right. And we have a four-headed Gleok and some bubbles. Block. Ah, now I gotta find a blue bubble. Yes, push the block, there's a stairway. Blue loser robes, red tectites. And we have a bunch of blue lions. 
There is a god clock. Goodbye. Thank you. And there's a heart. Moving up. Here's a Gleok and an Aquamander. You have a Gleok and a Aquamander. Dead. And we get three big dodgers here. And we're just going to try to boomerang things. Container. And there's the Triforce. And it looks like we're about out of time for this part. So, gonna be saving soon. Alright, this is James Source signing off. Bye!